Let's take a look at the Sony wireless radio commander we just got in. Here we have the Sony FAWR1CM wireless controller for radio capability with Sony flashes. As always, if this video helps you out, don't forget to hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, unboxings, and frequently asked questions. And if you're ever visiting the Miami area, come by and say hello to Adam and I at Digital Goja Showroom. Well, let's take a look and see if there is a Sony Wireless Radio Commander. Now, first thing you see on here, of course, is an instruction pamphlet in multiple languages, a little bit more on release shooting, and your Sony warranty cards, which state that this is good in the US and from an authorized dealer like Digital Goja. So let's see what else is in here. Well, that's it. Just very well packaged to make sure you get it in one piece. Wow, that comes with a really nice case. I like that feature. Velcro and very well padded on the inside. Good going, Sony. That's gonna make your wireless commander be nice and safe and snug in whatever environment you want to work with it. So let's take a closer look at the features of the Sony Wireless Radio Commander WRC1M. Now this is for select Sony cameras and flashes. Now remember if you need to work with this because it's a radio frequency trigger so you need to have a receiver on your flash from Sony or you have to look into something like the HVL F45RM which has the transmitter built in and receiver. This is 2.4 gigahertz that means it has up to 98 foot range and it works with up to 15 radio receivers. So that means you can have up to 15 flashes synchronized with this. Notice how you have a nice bright LCD with a full menu so you can control everything whether you want to pair, test, multi-terminals, you have terminal connections on the side even for a PC notice on the side here and for a USB and of course this is dust and moisture proof and of course it does have their multi-terminal interface so you can connect it directly right onto your camera and of course it could also do high-speed sync and rear and first and second curtain 14 channels five groups it's a complete system and notice how easily this mounts on a full frame camera. We're going to take a look now. Now notice how you have a nice bright screen. Here you turn it on, you can lock it so that, that way you don't press any button inadvertently. But here you can also light up all the buttons and here you can go into your menu and you can switch it between high speed sync, set up your channels, even do your pairing. You can even do a test right here from the actual transmitter and here's where you can do all your different settings whether you want different groups and in different channels and your compensation again very fully detailed menu in here you can change your ratio you can switch from TTL to manual and then you can change the power output whether you want to do one to one so Here's where you do your level stepping. So you can do up to five exposure values. Power saving mode, so you can actually tell it when to shut off. Up to 30 minutes if you never want it to shut off. Here's where you check your version as far as your uh, firmware. You have a reset so that if you have a bunch of settings and you don't know what you've done you can just do a manual reset and it brings it back to manufacturer's default so there you have it a very complete system for a radio trigger from Sony the FAWRC1M transmitter well I hope you found this video to be helpful if it did Remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, frequently asked questions, and unboxings. And don't forget, if you're ever in Miami, come say hello at Digital Goja Showrooms. Happy shooting.